Hi Cancer and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive. So what I'm going to do is do a read for you and the other person and this will be for January 16th through the 31st 2019 okay. Now the other person could be a person of interest, it could be a spouse, a committed relationship, it could even be a friend or it can even be a family member okay. So uh, someone you love okay. So just keep that in mind all right. Um, this will be uh, again from January 16th through the 31st 2019 for all sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus Cancer, okay? So do keep that in mind. If you are not sure what those other signs are, please check the description box below and that will get you all set. If you're not sure of your time of birth, plug in 12 noon and then it'll pop out your whole astrological chart and you can check out those other videos as you see fit and see if they resonate. Guys, just you know, see if they resonate. Uh, so um, let's see here. Uh, what else do I need to let you know? Um, if you're looking for a personal read, go to theguidedintuitive.com in the description box below. And please continue all your likes, your subscribes, and your shares. I really appreciate it. And your comments, okay? I read them, <laughs> okay? Uh, it helps me get to know all of you better, okay? So that's good. So I hope you're enjoying your uh, first month and second half of the first month in the new year, okay? Did I get that? I got that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to move the camera over. We're going to get started. So I'm going to pull some cards on you and then also the other person. So let's go ahead and move the camera down. And let's see what's in store for you, Cancer. Okay. I'll do a few more shuffles here as we get going. And let's see what pops up for you here. The first card. Okay. So upside down. You're not walking away from something. Are you walking away from something yet? Because it looks like you're not walking away yet. It's saying it's probably your best interest to do so, but you're here, okay? So perhaps in relationship, in a, in a relationship right now, uh, it, if it's you know you, this is your energy. It could be also if you have a fellow sun, it's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well. Um, that could very much well be the case. But you're not walking away from something yet. You don't. You feel that you probably know it's in your best interest to do so because things have been hidden. You put in a lot of effort though, and that's probably why that you don't want to walk away. But this is how it came out. Okay, so you're gonna have to tell me: Is there something that you want to walk away from that is not uh, making you emotionally feel very good? Uh, you know, especially romantically. Uh, based on your t intuition, in terms of your psychic abilities, and what's not bringing you, you know, spiritual, mental, physical happiness, you know, in a relationship. So something that you put a lot of time into is now saying, um, you know, uh, it this it could be uh, something that you're, you're you're not making the decision to walk away from quite yet. Okay, maybe later, but not quite yet. Okay. You've got a lot of choices that's happening in terms of the realms of love, okay? So you've got the Seven of Cups. Seven is about having faith. The Cups are about uh, there is an illusion. I mean, perhaps there's a fantasy, and that's why you're not moving away because you don't, you want to, there's this fantasy or illusion uh, or, or perhaps uh, something in your imagination that is keeping you stuck there, okay? So there might be a new way of, a new, uh, you know, a new uh, way of looking at something that's going to be important. So this is saying to, you know, be realistic about your love life as well, okay? Make sure that you're not stuck in an illusion of some sort. Step back from the situation. <laughs> Step back from the situation, right? Uh, and, and really take off your mask and totally... And, and I say the mask in society, we all, we all have them in some way, shape or form, but really taking that off to really go within and know what truly your heart's desire is. And, 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 and if this is something that resonates and are you truly seeing the situation for what it is as it relates to love, okay? You've got a lot of choices. Not all of them are good. So this is saying to use your intuition, okay? Use your intuition in the process relating to love, all right? Now, the next card that we get is nice, the Ace of Wands. This is a potential uh, for a new opportunity. There's an inspiration that's coming through, and perhaps it's from go from looking at things from a, a different perspective uh, and maybe from a more realistic point of view. Uh, not to say we don't, you know, we can't have our dreams. We, we can definitely have those. Just we have to kind of balance them out just a little bit of what's currently happening and, happening and making sure we don't get too caught up in one way or another, okay? But this is saying the Ace of Wands, the opportunity is coming from the, you know, the, the, the cloud is offering you, some, you know, uh, the Spirit's offering you a wonderful opportunity. And this is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius type energy. 
very passionate new beginning. Uh, so that's available there for you as it relates to love, uh, since this is a love reading. So there is a new potential for an opportunity here, which is great. And that makes sense because then you move on into the fool's journey. You're, you're moving on into this new opportunity and you're seeing what the world holds for you, okay, as it relates to your love life. So this is quite beautiful. You know, she's moving forward. Uh, it's the energy for the most part. Um, so sex is neutral. Just keep that in mind. Um, but it is about just moving forward uh, and a new beginning, okay? So, uh, you know, perhaps, uh, uh, you know, this is saying is that you do have this new beginning as long as you choose appropriately what it is that you need to perhaps walk away from or maybe it's in a current situation that you need to see things for what how they really are in a relationship and then you get this new beginning within that current relationship and you move forward. So there's a lot of couple different ways that this could uh this could actually look at. So um you have to let me know. Now, oh, this is beautiful. You're feeling so wonderful, vibrant, you know, full of energy, full of vitality. Uh, you are just feeling a lot of the warmth relating to this, you know, moving on in this new direction with this new opportunity, okay? This is beautiful. Now, this could be alone on a journey alone, on the fool's journey. It's a zero card. Um, and you just, you've got pure thoughts and uh, you are feeling just like a newborn person as you move forward. So this is great. The sun is shining. Um, you know, there's really good vibrations. The, you know, there's a lot of passion in this with the red card. But you are just feeling like the sun is shining upon you and opportunities abound as it relates to love for you. Now you also get the king of wands. Now the king is about authority. And when we talk about the wands, it's about some sort of visionary or entrepreneur. So that could be yourself, perhaps that you'd like to go into this, or perhaps that's what you're actually becoming in terms, uh, you know, uh, of in terms of your own life, the authority in your own life, and loving yourself. It could be a love for, you know, something that you'd like to start, like a new business of some sort, um, or it could be a partner that is more of a entrepreneur, that's a king and it's an authority figure, and that's the type of person that you might be interested in. The wands are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that, you know, are very passionate. Uh, they're, they're very full of energy and passion and super great ideas and nice creativity, that type of thing. And people come to this person for authority. Um, so that could either be you that people are coming to or someone that you're interested in. Now, you are no longer in the hangman position. The hangman came um, actually... Uh, you know, it came this way, right? So um, it means that you've already gone within and you've been enlightened uh, as it pertains to what you want, you know, in terms of love. Uh, so this is beautiful. Um, I like to see this. So it's just saying that you have actually spent some time going within and now you're coming out of the situation at hand. Uh, and, and that's nice because you've gained some sort of enlightenment as it pertains to your love life. And then you get the Ace of Swords. A potential opportunity, uh, you know, you get a lot of you get a lot of clarity. Okay, where you weren't clear here before, this gives you an opportunity for clarity. Okay, this is about victory. This is about power uh, as it relates to your love life. You're taking back your power, I think. Okay, and perhaps um, that you with this clarity is a new beginning. Okay, and that's the ace. So it's kind of perhaps you did decide to flip this around and walk away. Or you're looking at this situation, not this way anymore. Um, you're walking away from old way of thinking in terms of this relationship that you have with this other person. Uh, and um, you're, you're gonna have a new beginning with that person. So note your comments below. So let's take a look at this other person and see what wants to come up for them, okay? This person's been working really, really hard, okay? So they've been focusing on their stability. Uh, the seven is about having a lot of faith and it is about, uh, you know, working really hard, but stopping for a moment, taking, uh, you, know, uh, a, 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 you know, rest and saying, I've come this far, where would I like to see this move towards in the future? This is a seven, right? And so it's, it's pentacles. It's about, you know, having that stability. It's having vision and investment into a relationship. And he wants profit out of a relationship, okay? Now, profit doesn't, doesn't have to be money. It could just be, uh, you know, give and take as well. So uh, note your comments below. 
And this person wants justice, right? They want the balancing of the scales. And if they're not really balanced, then, then you know, it's, it's going to cut it out. So this is an actual uh, justice that's coming through here. And this is truth. This person it wants to, you know, uh, you know, live in their truth and, and be in their truth. Okay, so that's going to be key and wants justice in a relationship. Okay, so the next card that we get is the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So uh, you might be involved with someone uh, that is a fellow air sign. Um, and either they're offering a, offering a cup of love to you or you're offering a cup of love to them. But a page is about a message that comes through. Okay. So there could be a message of love coming through, whether they're messaging that over to you or you're messaging, you know, they're receiving that. Um, but it's quite interesting. Wow. Yeah. It's uh, very interesting. So let's see as this moves forward. Now, um, with this, with this cup of love coming through, I think this person is a little tied up in terms of their feelings. They feel like they're kind of tied a little bit. The eight is about change. So when we come to the swords, it's about, you know, being in, you know, an anxiety related to this love offer for some reason. Maybe in the past, it was something that, uh, you know, um, was something that did perhaps, you know, wasn't successful perhaps. Uh, and you know, perhaps that was the case, but they have some anxiety related to emotions. Uh, and, uh, so little do they know if they look in a different perspective that they could get out of this, uh, they could just, you know, move, you know, just lean against one of those swords and those, uh, the bondage would just freely just fall right off and you can remove, uh, you know, so seeing things in a different way from an emotional perspective and, uh, you know, in the head, some things might be hidden. So that might mean, keep you a little bit confused in this process, perhaps. The moon card shows up and, uh, you know, basically when, when the, it's almost as if like when the moon shows up, it just means that something might be a little bit hidden in this particular love situation. There might be a little bit of illusion, kind of what you experienced over here. They too the same way and a little bit of fear, okay? Uh, but they go within, right? And they look at the hermit card and they go within to put some light, shine some light on that. Take a moment, take a break, you know, kind of see how they're feeling about this cup of love coming through. Because in the past, they were hurt emotionally. They were really, really hurt. And this could have been by a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, so uh, it could have been a uh, 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 cancer that this, this person um, maybe experienced some really, really deep, deep heartache, okay? Uh, you know, whether it was dealing with you or with another person. So note your comments below because that's interesting. They were really, really hurt. So they're a little hesitant. That's why they fear when they get an opportunity that comes their way. Now, because it was a lot of competition, right? There was a lot of competition in the past, you know, and the, the wands are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and there's been, a, you know, it's a lot of passion, but a, a lot of uh, competition in the past. And, uh, then they, they, they focused on, uh, they focused on, uh, moving forward and, and, and I'm hoping that they have taken on the wands energy, uh, which is a passion and desire and it's a little bit of spirituality within here as well. And, and, and just really as the queen, they've got some influence and with their wands, they're using their, uh, their, their exuberance and their vibe, you know, their, their vibrancy and, um, you know, and perhaps there has been a struggle, you know, with, uh, you know, with this, uh, with someone who carries that Aries Leo Sagittarius type energy, or it's, it's them themselves that they're now moving out of this competition of this heartache after going within and then become that king of that, that queen of wands. Yeah, I think they do. Cause then they celebrate. This is beautiful. This is celebration. Now, it could have been in the past if there was a third party situation, you've got a three here and a three here and five and a change. Um, but it could also be a celebration from moving on and, you know, from the competition and moving on um, after going within and then now celebrating with friends and and uh, also, uh, you know, with the, with the cups up there too, you know, uh, cups, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is interesting, um, interesting dynamic, very interesting dynamic. Uh, so note your comments below in terms of what this is, kind of interesting. I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards, Cancer, on you and what can help you as it relates to this other person. What's going to help you personally in this, you know, as it relates to this other person, okay? 
This talks about loneliness, to know that you are never, ever alone, Cancer. I think that is so key. You've got a new beginning, and even though that you've walked away from things and things were maybe what they should be, people painted maybe illusions, but you went within and you see the light and you've got this new beginning and you've got this full fool's journey ready to start, and you don't need to feel lonely because the sun is shining all over you, okay? Uh, you are feeling like a brand new person and you can go down a fully different path, okay? And you've gained so much knowledge from this. You really, really have. Uh, and um, you, uh, it, when I see the, the, the king of wands here, this is about you really become that visionary and that entrepreneur and you're ready to move forward uh, because you did go within. You went within and then you've got this new beginning, this potential new beginning here. So you're never alone. Keep that in mind. Focus on love. Uh, commit to the practice of love and seeing the good in all things, okay? Even if it's bad, where you had to maybe perhaps walk away, even though it took some time to walk away, I think you finally made the decision that you'll, you'll finally make the decision to do so, okay? That's what I'm seeing because there's a new beginning here, okay? But this is the same, the love, that transformation that has taken place within you because it's going to really serve you. There's also humor. So you're focusing on the, 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 the humorous side of life to help you lighten things up a little bit. <laughs> and it's also about indecision. You're going to use your intuition in all aspects of your life moving forward. And you're not going to um, stay in something that uh, you put so much effort in, uh, you know, especially um, when so many things were hidden. You know, I think that you just really took a look of, in a, uh, you know, really took... Uh, Sure, you looked at everything that you've gone through and said, hey, yeah, maybe I do need to walk away. But it, it took a while. You were in some indecision, but uh, now you're using your intuition to help move you forward in this process. And um, just know that you can't change the past, but you can create this beautiful new beginning. Okay? Keep that in mind. So don't regret anything. Just take those as learning experiences for yourself. This other person, empathy. Um, they're looking to see things from both sides of the situation, Cancer. So if they brought you heartbreak in the past, I think now that they're seeing things, uh, you know, to, uh, seeing things for what they are, and they, they've seen all the crap that maybe if this was with them, that they may have put you through, okay? And that at the end, you decide to walk away, but who knows? So so you're going to have to let me know in the comments, okay? <laughs> um, this is about abundance. This person is understanding they're a, they're a limitless being, and they manifest whatever they desire to the physical reality. All right, so um, that's the other person. And this person is also grateful and thankful for the opportunities that present themselves, okay? Uh, perhaps they'll go be of service to others and maybe help them overcome situations based upon the things that they've learned. And they're rid of any doubt. And uh, um, they have to, re they're, they're releasing the fact that they don't know all the answers in life. And uh, they release the need to know that. And I think that's that's key. And everything happens in divine order. Okay, so this person also needs to have a little bit of patience. So what other advice? Um, you know, at the end, what is it that you would like to say to this person, Cancer? And what would this other person like to say to you? Let's just shuffle these and see what wants to come out. What does uh, Cancer like to say to this other person? Here it is. I'm sorry I made such a big deal out of something so unimportant, okay? So maybe that was something that uh, you would like to say, Cancer, to this person. Now, interesting, okay? That's beautiful. What does this other person want to say to you? Sometimes we do that, don't we? <laughs> something so little we can make it to such a big deal. Uh, but if we focus on love, patience, you know, with each other, it, uh, we can, you know, kind of learn to outgrow that a little bit. But it can creep up every now and then, so it takes a little monitoring, monitoring, I should say. What does this other person want to say to you, Cancer? They're, oh my God, I keep getting this card. This is insane. Okay, I treasure you. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got this like four times. This is unflippin' believable. 
unbelievable. You can't make this stuff up. So if people are really, I think that this new year, people are really realizing who are important in their life, who is, and who is not important. And they're really treasuring those that are because they want more of those type of people around them. <laughs> That's what I think. Okay. So let me know in the comments below, guys. Uh, I love this. Uh, interesting. So interesting. So I look forward to seeing you in the month of February. And until then, namaste.